Hey everybody, this is going to be a short reading and the channeled song is When I See You Smile. Alexa, who sings When I See You Smile? Bad English, okay. So, you know, that's the funny thing about music is even if you don't understand the language, you can still get a feeling from it, you know? <clears throat> but I would say When I See You Smile is a ballad. Anyway, it's going to be a short reading. I just did a little jam on my other channel, so go check that out. It's usually linked somewhere in the description box. But I'm under the weather today, so, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> yep. Here we go. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, that's the truth. You may need to tell somebody what you're feeling, how you're feeling about a situation, okay? And it's okay to communicate the truth of a situation, right? Um, for some of you, this may be an attraction um, with somebody, all right? The Knight of Wands, perhaps they are a Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, isn't there always a Knight of Wands around the corner, right? Like, come on. Um, <clears throat> it's all making sense now. I mean, and for some people, that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever seen that movie, The Wedding Crashers? You know, like, their objective is to go and hook up with people at weddings and then, like, never see them again, right? And then they run into this other guy who um, is played by Will Ferrell, by the way, and he's hilarious. And his version of what they're doing is, since he's older, he goes to funerals. <laughs> Okay, so that is kind of like a Knight of Wands, if you didn't know. Okay, like, yeah, um, I got those parts too, and I can shove them out to here, you know, and act all sexy and do that thing, but that doesn't mean I want to do that thing 24-7. I got other things going on on this planet, okay? So you need to take a step back, <laughs> all right? And I feel like that could be what is part of what you're having to kind of lay this boundary down and be like, you know, yeah. <laughs> so what else do we have for this collective, please? Spicy, spicy. Well, it is a Friday. It is the weekend, right? Queen of Cups. And what's the Queen of Cups going to be doing on the weekend? She surely is not going to be stressing over Mr. Spicy, who shows his spice to everybody that will, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, have you ever heard about like the guy in the park, you know, the flasher guy, you know, and it's just like, just cause you're there, he will expose himself to you. Okay. So where's the honor in that? Anyway. <clears throat> a queen does not need to worry about such things, does she? No. And she's very comfortable here. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, some of you could have this in your chart. Please go check out your chart. Check out your Vedic chart. Yes, Vedic. I said Vedic. You could, it could also be under sidereal. And also check out your Western or tropical, okay? Western is what most, you know, people are know that would be watching this, Okay. But um, your Vedic um, provides insight as well. And for some reason, Collective, if some of these people have been making you feel emotional more so than you would normally, okay, um, maybe it's because that is in your chart, all right, you know, where you have a pull of emotions and you really want to believe the good in people, right? We always really hope, don't we? We always really, really hope. Okay. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. In a night of wands, I'm sorry, he might not even get it done in the bedroom. You know, sometimes they're the Minutemen. Okay. 
Cause if you think, cause if you gotta be out there throwing around like that, it ain't gotta, it ain't that great, is it? It ain't that great. <clears throat> okay. Well, who wanted to flip over the Four of Wands and the Hierophants? Somebody might have thought it was great with you. Um. But you know what I mean? It's like, is that all you have? Like, I mean, literally collective. This is what they have. You know what I mean? This is on the side of their transportation system. You know, maybe they could have a tattoo. You know what I mean? They could have this kind of thing. Like, this is their ideal woman. This is what they think of when they look at a woman. So, is, especially if this is a mat. I'm reading this definitely as a masculine energy. And, um, you know, this is very much a feminine energy here. This queen of cups. Okay. But, you know, she's not going to, you don't see the Queen of Cups getting all riled up over Johnny come lately. <laughs> you know, um, thinking he looks cool because he's got his, you know, whatever, latest whatever. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not necessarily impressing her, okay, like what she's doing over here, okay? Um, I think he wants to. But I don't, I don't know that it's, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. The lovers, hmm, Gemini. So, <clears throat> there are definitely people that recognize your, I would say, yeah, your inner voluptuousness, Queen of Cups, okay? Um, and, you know, they want to be making it with you on that, all right? And that's where all of this fiery energy is. But like I said, you know, it's like, okay, so are you just getting off the train today and then tomorrow you're getting back on the train and I'll never see you again? Like, is that where, where this is going? Because that's kind of how it feels at the moment, right? And that's why this Ace of Swords is here in the past position. It's like, you already know what this person is about or some of these energies and I don't feel like you're that impressed with it to be honest you're looking for something better you're looking for something more um, egalitarian okay and something that's really more you know kind of ordained protected in the higher realms okay um, these full moons keep appearing. So there's another moon here. Um, <clears throat> and my last reading was heavy on the moons. So check your moon sign. Um, there is an eclipse coming up as well. Like, you know, a solar eclipse too. You know, not just some of the moon stuff. So um, some of the stuff collective I feel like you know you're you're starting to see a new path and it's like this night here on his train track he has limited options okay like he can only go on you know forward or backward <laughs> do you know I mean how often do you see a train going backwards not often it's like you know yeah could they switch over to a different track but how many miles down the road is that you know it could be never it could be never. So think about that when you're dealing with this Nine of Wands. I feel like, especially when you're going into this weekend energy, um, you know, people be out here dancing in the street, having a good time. Great, great. I feel you, fam. Like, that's amazing. Um, don't let it overcome, yeah, judgment card here. Don't let it overcome your good senses, okay? Because, yeah, you've been there, done that. All right? Yeah, this is not... This is not 1995 at a rave somewhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Um, take your own point of reference, all right? I was reminded of that scene in the movie Go, okay, where they're, like, at the rave, and it's just, you know, it's just kind of like a free-for-all. And it's just like, yes, we're all young ones, and we all make, you know, certain mistakes and things like that once, but... Um, some of us then choose a different path afterwards, right? We don't stay on that track. And what I'm seeing here is a lot of that energy that wants to be all like coming at you, um, in a physical or sexual way is just about that. They're not really about anything much more. So, um, yeah.
Yeah, and that's just <clears throat> just some basic facts, okay? Um, and that's part of why you're sitting here in this position as well. And I don't think you're threatened by these energies. I just want you to be aware of them, okay? Because here on the outcome, it's kind of like eyes on the prize, okay? Um, yeah. So... I mean, this person could be, you know, also somebody who, like, follows your social media. Maybe they only see, like, certain sides of you or maybe based upon what you post. Like, I don't know. You know, it's just kind of that. That's just, it's like tunnel, it's like tunnel vision. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this message, you guys. I think overall, I mean, the energy for you here is the sun card. Just keep doing what you're doing. And... Um, you know, just don't let these little things ruffle your feathers, um, because you do have protection around you, okay? <coughs> uh, Queen of Cups is, you know, the most intuitive queen as well. Intuition was a big thing, uh, 11, 11 o'clock, um, for me today, okay? Whew, all right, and as always, please manifest wisely. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Please like and subscribe to the video. Until next time, and I don't know when. Bye.